Alright guys, so for the first part of this, you're going to want to make your way to rocket launch. Then, you're going to want the rocket to launch. Then, you're just going to wait here. And after the rocket launches, there's a little place that you have to shoot on top of the, um, VMP wall by barrier on top of that. It's a little flaming tiki head, and you have to shoot that spot, and you'll know you hit it when an artifact gets shot up in the air. Okay, for this part, now there's three circles around the map. There's one right outside of Clock Tower, right here. There's one right by the Wonder Sphere to Rocket Launch or Death Ray. And there is a final one right under Death, uh, right under Double Tap, and right where you pick up the Void Boat Quest, right here. This part can cost quite a bit, so bear with me. So that is how you hit the first one. It's pretty easy, you just go off that wonder sphere and shoot after or right before you land. The second wonder sphere spot is at right here. Now for this one, you just want to get in it, look at the ground, and as soon as you see it, shoot. And go hit it. So that's the second one. And you'll know you hit them when they glow up. Now with the third one, there's a couple ways you can hit it. So the first way is taking the Wonder Sphere at Death Ray. Well, you can actually hit them from all of them, but I'm just doing like the normal way, not like the easier way. I missed it that time. I don't know why this wonder sphere. Oh, it is. And you can hit it from this one, which is probably the easier one. So you've hit all three circles, and they're lit. Now what? Now, here comes the part where you have to fill them up with souls. Every circle, I believe, takes the same amount of souls. And you can kill a zombie from anywhere and collect the souls as long as you're standing inside of the circle. Like, I could kill a zombie way back there. I could shoot towards a rocket launch, kill a zombie, and it would still feed the souls as long as I'm standing inside of it. It's like that for all three. By the way, you don't have to use your bow to fill up these. It's just easier because it deals more damage and you won't die. You filled up all of the circles with souls, and then you will get a quest completion marker telling you that you have done that. Now what you're going to want to do is go back up to the clock tower, which is originally where you picked up your arrow. Hold square on PlayStation or X on Xbox, and you will get your symbol. Now, there are three fireplaces around the map, and they have a symbol in the back of them. There's one in the disco room, or second dragon room right here. That has a symbol in it. There is another one in Samantha's room. And there is a third and final fireplace in the um, Wonder Fizz room, or first dragon room. I don't know what to call this room. It's right here, and it's that symbol. Now, one of the circles will be glowing up on the map, still corresponding to your symbol that you have to shoot into the fireplace. Mine is this one, because mine is in Samantha's room. So, you're going to want to shoot it, and a miniature volcano will appear where your bullet lands. You only have three shots at this, so you want to look up here.
those puzzles go. And I messed it up because that means you messed it up because that's just how it goes. Yeah. Okay, he might have his bow, so that's good. But you have three shots, and I think I messed it up. So, oh, no, I didn't. Have one more try. And if you just shoot it square into the fireplace, that will happen. Why no max ammo? I do not know. You usually get a max ammo with that. Okay, for this next step, you're going to want to come up here by death ray. And this sun is going to be here. Hold square on it. And this pretty... This looks pretty cool, I have to admit. Now, picking up the arrow is glitchy. So sometimes you have to jump to pick it up. Now, you're going to want to come to the underforge with your reforged arrow and put it inside the box. Fresh supplies coming in. Then, you just have to fill it up with souls. Right up, now, you just put your bow in, and voila. You have successfully upgraded one of the four bows in Black Ops 3. And it's gonna be a bloodbath. Now I have to say, this bow will shred. Hell of a way to go. I'm gonna need a shower to wash off all this blood. It is one of the highest damage bows in the game. It is well worth the struggle, in my opinion. And it's, it just looks cool. But I really do like this bow. It's probably my favorite out of the four. Just for the volcanoes, probably. 